good day. This is the Valder Beebe Show broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas on a global platform. Who do I have with me? Uh, Dr. Mary Ann Bowman from the American Stroke Association. Well, Dr. Mary Ann Bowman, I'm so excited to talk with you, not because of your topic, but because I want people to hear more about this. Tell me about the Stroke Association. Yes, we are talking today. The Stroke Association raises awareness of stroke, does research for treatments, and, and we're talking now about cryptogenic stroke. This is a stroke where we don't know what caused it, and obviously that can be very frustrating for family members, uh, for the patient themselves, and for the doctor because we don't know how to avoid another one. Okay, what are some of the tips to avoid? Well, with a cryptogenic stroke, this is a type of ischemic stroke. There are two types of stroke. Ischemic means that you have a lack of blood flow to the brain, and hemorrhagic stroke means you have bleeding into the brain. A cryptogenic stroke means you have a clot there, but we don't know where it came from, and that's what leads to the frustration. Okay, so how do you, well, the doctor's going to tell us what the difference is. Well, one of the things that we, what we can do for this, there are certain things that can cause it, and we want to make sure that we're raising awareness among doctors and patients so that we have consistent plans to try to look for this. Atrial fibrillation is when you have an irregular heartbeat that uh, causes the heart uh, chambers not to squeeze regularly, and that then causes a clot that goes to the brain. We can monitor to find out if a person has atrial fibrillation. There's also a patent or foramen ovale. This is a little hole in the heart that's supposed to close by adulthood. If it doesn't, it can form clots. And then if people have a clotting problem, they can uh, then develop a stroke because they form that clot. So these are some of the things we want to look for to see if we can figure out what caused that stroke. When people are have, when someone has a stroke, uh, even a light ischemic stroke, does age play a factor in that? Certainly age can play a factor with strokes, and remember ischemic strokes are not necessarily light strokes. This can be a very big cause of disability, and that's why we've uh, uh, worked with Medtronic, our sponsor, to come to up with a patient support tool that explains the signs of a stroke, uh, what kinds of evaluations are done, what questions to ask your doctor, um, and, and what lifestyle changes you should do so you can avoid either the first stroke or the second stroke. Could you talk a little bit about lifestyle preventive changes? Absolutely. It's so important. You do need to do things such as increasing your healthy diet, increasing fruits and vegetables, losing weight if you need to. Um, we want, if you have high blood pressure, definitely take your medications. Keep the blood pressure under control. If you smoke, quit. Quit today. Um, if you have high cholesterol, you need to make sure that that's under control. Take the medications and um, also exercise more. Get your body moving. Um, these are the ways that people can avoid strokes. That's a prescription I get from every doctor for every disease doctor. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, got that one down. And I hope we hear you as the recipients of this knowledge. You know, eat right, exercise. Um, what else do you say? Eat right, exercise. Quit and smoking. Stop smoking. Yeah, I'll <laughs> definitely stop smoking. And those are changes that you can make a little at a time, but, you know, they're really, really worth it. So I wanted to talk with you because I have an initiative called Hashtag VBS Take Over Life, and I want people to take take over their lives, things they've lost control of, their diet, their health, their exercise. But I want to ask you about stroke once again. When someone has, an, a, stroke, has a stroke, is therapy always uh, a post-recommendation for them? Should they go into some kind of therapy or rehab? Most of the time, patients who have had a stroke will be prescribed rehab. Now, there are different ways to do this. It can be in a rehab hospital. It can be in a nursing home. see an EMD behind your name. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Valor. I enjoyed it.